what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to remove disc track aka Shamoon which is a nasty piece of kit that gets on the system and uh, it stops the system from booting up now you may also be able to get to the desktop sometimes for a while and then you may just get this one day what it does is a MBR uh, wiper it just wipes the master boot record and also you will get blue screen of death sometimes and then also you may also get when you try to get into Windows advanced options uh, locking up and stuff like that okay so it is a pretty nasty one and there is loads of different uh, variant names they call it um, it's a master boot record wiper and it also changes its names quite frequently but let's reboot into Kaspersky Rescue CD and we're gonna have a go at removing it from there okay so we're gonna push enter on the keyboard here I'm gonna choose English for my language and then gonna click on one to enter the agreement and then I'm gonna go into graphic mode just let this boot up okay so that's now loaded in so what I want to do here is just going to close this off for a second and what I want to do here is I'm going to go into the registry editor and now we've got the registry editor up I'm going to come down here to H key local machine then go into system current control set services and then what we're looking for here is the actual culprit itself begins in the T's and there it is there that's the one so we're going to get rid of this one you can see it's in system 32 as well let me just pull that across there so you can see it there this is the one that we're going to get rid of that file so I'm going to delete this whole thing here go back here just make sure it's not in any of these other ones as well it's there ok we're going to get rid of that as well ok so now we've got rid of that What we want to do next is going to close this off a second. I'm going to go into the C drive here. Go into Windows. Then System 32. Okay, now you on the screen now you should see a big list of uh, types of executables that this will normally use it will use these types of names on the file system so it could be any of these but uh, bear in mind um, yours might be different to mine so just bear that in mind okay so we're gonna come down here I'm gonna come down to the T's okay looking for TRK and there it is there
that one's gone okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to go up to drivers here into drivers I'm going to get rid of this file here let me get rid of that, move that to trash Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to reboot the system into our Windows CD and fix our master boot record. So let's reboot the system. Now I could run a scan here up here with the uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk, but I want to fix the master boot record and get that back to the desktop and see if I can run some scans from there. So let's reboot the system into Windows CD. I'm going to quickly restart here. I'm going to shut this down and change the disk so I'm going to push the enter key here I'm going to push next here and it will come down to repair your computer go next and I want to go into uh, command prompt here I'm going to change directory to our D directory here type DIR Okay, I can see Windows here, that's good. So I want to do boot rec space forward slash fix MBR and then boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then exit out of this. I'm going to restart the machine now into Windows and hopefully she starts up. Okay, we'll just let this boot up now. This looks like a good sign. Okay, so we're back at the desktop now. And what I want to do here is run some scans with some software. Okay, so the first one I want to do is ASW MBR. I'm going to check this, just make sure everything's okay. Just want to update, I'm going to say yes to this. Now while that's updating, um, I'll leave that down here and I shall run a scan with Malwarebytes. Just do a quick update. And then we're going to run a scan. Run a quick scan here. Okay, so Malwarebytes has come up clean. That's a good sign. I'm just going to, now this is updated, I'm going to quickly run a scan here. Okay, there's something hidden here. And that's that's a Malwarebytes, that's okay. So while that's scanning there, what I'm going to do here is run 
Hitman Pro. And normally I would do only one scan at a time. But for this video, just going to run a quick couple of scans here. Okay, it's found another Trojan, Rootman. It's been picked up. So we're going to delete that. It's one of the names that it changes. So we're going to delete these. Just activate this quickly. And go next. Okay, this has found it as well, Rootman, as you can see. So before I finish this off, I'll just let this finish. But as you can see, this got this picked up as well. Okay, that's now fixed. So what I'm going to do is either let this one remove it or Hitman Pro. I'll probably use Hitman Pro for this one. So I'm just going to go next. I'm going to exit out of this one because I've now removed that. Now what I would do is an online scan with ESET just to make sure everything's all cleared off. But um, I'm pretty sure that this is all cleared up now. I will do some other scans with some other software. So I think that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoyed them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.